come shop with me at Ross to see if we find any 49 cents items or items on clearance. So far, I've only found like one thing for like men's. I think it was like a shaving thing that was 49 cents and I found a um, Christmas mug that I actually didn't even like that was 49 cents, but um, supposedly there's also supposed to be clothes that are 49 cents. In the past, the only time I've ever bought something for 49 cents from Ross was um, some tights. Like every once in a while, tights will be 49 cents at Ross and I'll just buy a couple of them. But I wanted to see the clothes today, so I want to show you guys kind of how like the prices are marked down, but that I don't really see anything that's 49 cents. So obviously you can see this dress here is $6.99. This one is the same price. The next one, $7.99. So these are all great prices. They're just not 49 cents. And then it's, okay, well this one is $149. So honestly, that's a really good price. Not something that I would wear, but it is cute for somebody. It's a dress, as you can see. And it also has a rip right there. <laughs> it has a rip, so. That's probably why it's $149. So I'm not seeing anything for 49 cents, but I am seeing some honestly really good prices. Like I bought a sweater um, that was $3.99. So I really think that one was cute and worth it. So I'm over by the electronics to see if they have anything marked down. I actually see a lot of markdowns here. Oh, 49 cents. Look, found the first thing. That was 49 cents. That is this really cute case. For the iPhone X. That I'm not going to get because I don't have an iPhone. So... <laughs> So I'm in the bedding section in the last store that I went to. They didn't really have much on sale, but I'm noticing this store has a lot more um, markdowns. And so as you can see with the pillows and such, they have a couple of things that are on clearance. So they've got this pillow here, this cute pillow for $6.49. And this one right here is $10.99. So that pillow right there. And these ones have different colors, so I'm assuming the markdowns are coming on these with the different colors, but I'm not exactly sure, so don't quote me on that. This one, same thing, $6.99. That's actually a really cute pillow. Let's see what this one is. This one's probably regular, but I don't see a price on that. This one, I don't see anything either. So yeah, like I was saying in one of my last clips, you know, you just gotta kind of be patient and bounce around the whole store and see what you can find. Cause you really just never know what's gonna be marked down. It seems like they just scattered everything about the store and not actually put it in a specific section. I see some markdowns over here. So this green pillow is $8.99. Um, this tan pillow is $8.99, which I think is really cute. If I was looking for pillows right now, I'd be <laughs> grabbing up some of these, but I think I have way too many pillows in my house. So yeah.
So I came to the kitchen section and I found the first um, 49 cent item of the day today, which is are these um, small little baking pans that I'm actually going to get because I love to bake and I like to make small cheesecakes. This would be perfect for that. And as you can see, it is 49 cents. Then this mixing bowl is $2.99 which I could actually use also this kettle is $1.99 which I think is a great price the only thing is it doesn't have the top on it because this one over here has the top that goes there and this one is a smaller version but it does not have it I still think it's cute though whether regardless of whether it has a top or not syrups over here are 49 cents I think today's the day where I found the most items that were marked down to 49 cents versus the other day that I went. Found this nail polish for a whopping 49 cents. Yay! So, you know, to be honest with you, there's been a lot of rumors about the 49 cent situation not being true, these cute gloves or $4.99, but at the end of the day, you really just have to look. That's all it is to it. Just have to go in the store and look, because there's not necessarily a designated section. I'm just seeing that you can find 49 cent stuff around the store, but that if you want to come to these little bins, that they have in the store, you'll probably find a whole bunch of markdown items. Over here, these look like new stuff. So I'm not sure if there's any markdowns over here that looks like you would find that all year long. Well, here's a markdown. This is actually pretty nice. This iPhone situation set. This is actually pretty cute for $4.99. I don't have an iPhone. I have a Samsung Note 9, but if that was for Samsung, I would probably get it. Let's see. Most of these things here are like a regular price. Um, oh, this is $3.49. The EOS lip balm is $3.49. $9.99 for some gloves again. Anyway, I noticed a lot of markdowns here with these clips and hair ties and such, such stuff like that. So as you can see, this one is $1.99 and a lot of the tags are flipped, but I'll just turn around some of them like you can see $1.99 there. Not all of them, but you see two forty nine there, two ninety nine there, and one ninety nine there. So if you're one of those people, if you like these, or if you have a little girl or somebody <laughs> that likes these, I would recommend coming to that section. Shoes were the same price as they always are, which are usually not that expensive if you like to buy shoes from Ross. Um, I already checked the clothes. I really didn't go for anything else. Um, home stuff was pretty much the same. I didn't see anything back there that was marked down enough for me to say, hey, go to the home section. But if whatever else you have, I would just, I would suggest to just go around the whole store just to see what you can find because you really just never know. These things are pretty much scattered. Like for example, here, $7.49 for a pair of um, shades you know so you really just don't know what will be marked it down so just go around the whole store see what you can find um i will catch you guys in the next video